everybody. I'm here today to show you the shower that we're going to tear out and rebuild. The uh, homeowners less than a year ago had the tub removed and this shower built, but the shower floor was constantly holding water. It was moldy. They had a section of tile where it was actually soft inside of the shower, so it was starting to get kind of dangerous. Um, one of the things we noticed as soon as we started the demo was most of the thin set was way too dry when they put the towels up. Once the towels just popped off the wall in full sheets. Um, I guess everybody really likes the whole duct tape seal joints on all the corners and around the niche. So the main key that we figured out, which is why it was ponding so bad, is there is not an actual shower pan underneath this shower floor. All they did was they poured concrete right on top of the hardy backer and then laid their top. So there's no there's no substrate for any for any water, um, no pan, and they didn't even do like the old school guys where they do the rubber liner or anything like that. Uh, and we figured out why the tiles were sinking right here underneath the shower valve. They never patched the subfloor in where the existing tub drain was. They just laid quarter inch hardy backer over it. So that hardy backer had actually already broke, and the concrete was disintegrating underneath it. And the only thing holding the towel in place was the mat that the towel comes in on. So luckily the homeowner's foot didn't go through that. Um, but yeah, it was just pretty wild find. You know, you may find some wild stuff every now and then, but more or less it was just very odd that there's no pan whatsoever, just some concrete border on top of the hardy backer. So we're gonna turn all this out. We're gonna bring in, put a brand new Schutler pan in, of course, patch the subfloor, do it correctly, and uh, we'll show everybody what it's like when we're finished. 